Welcome back to another episode of Hubler Automotive Group Coach's Corner. I'm your host as always, Reese Byerly, and today my co-host Zach Reese is back. Zach, how you doing? Great to be back. Yep, great to great to have you back, Zach. And today we are joined with Franklin Community's Athletic Director, Mr. Bill Doty. How you doing? Good. How are you, Reese? Pretty good. Thank yeah, you. Good to see you guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for coming on today. Uh, as we're kind of doing a uh, winter season recap here as we transition into the spring sports, uh, let's just start off with the pool. The boys swim team had a fantastic year under Coach DeWitt. Tell me how their season kind of shook out this year. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me on and, and thanks for highlighting our, our student athletes. Uh, boys swimming, you're right, did did finish up at the state finals uh, a couple weeks ago. Had a really good year. They were conference champions and uh, Zach DeWitt, Coach DeWitt, was also named uh, conference coach of the year for the boys swim team. So um, they had several several boys uh, be state finalists and uh, had a really good season. Uh, Austin Clark was uh, made of the state diving as well. Uh, so really, you know, just another solid year for them. Uh, I think uh, if they were all being honest, they probably thought they, you know, from a state final standpoint, uh, m- maybe score a little, a few more points. Um, but to make the state finals uh, and be conference champs over Plainfield and, and our other in our mid-state conferences is, is pretty competitive. So had a good season. Yep. Um, also, I know they work together. Usually the girls and boys seems very close. They also had a very solid year. Can mm-hmm. you touch on that a yep, little bit? Yep, they did. Uh, again, diving, uh, Cami Quiggins uh, was a state place finisher. Uh, all state at uh, podium finish with eighth place uh, in diving and uh, then had several girls make state finals. State qualifiers, Allie Lacey uh, was a was also a, a, a state, she scored some points, uh, made, I, I forget the, the meets that she, or the events that she was in. I, I know she finished uh, uh, nine Ninth place in in one of her events, so you know, good good finish for the girls. Uh, finished runner up in the conference, uh, so yeah, very very competitive. Uh, as we kind of transition, uh, there, it was a great year for for Franklin wrestling. The girls program got started up. I know Zach's going to touch on that here in a minute. The boys team also had a really good year. They they sent I think it was six wrestlers to to regionals and three that were alternates in a tough mid state conference. They had a great year uh, under Coach Tante again, yeah. who's a great wrestling coach. Uh, tell me tell me how those boys did this yeah, year. Yeah, definitely. You know, Coach Tante would be a certainly be a Hall of Fame coach uh, when his career's done, and and we're glad he's here with us. Um, Boys, it's a you know young squad for sure, and uh, a lot of growth there. Uh, you're, you're right, six uh, regional qualifiers, uh, and in our region, our, our sectional and regional is. Uh, I'm probably a little biased, but uh, I think most people would be would agree with me. It's two toughest um, tournaments across the state, probably the toughest sectional and probably the toughest regional to come out of. Um, and our conference as well, Perry Meridian being in there, they, they did win conference again this year. Um, so very competitive from a wrestling standpoint, but our, our, our boys did did a great job. Uh, from the girls standpoint, uh, first year for an emerging sport with the IHSAA, uh, and, and they were regional champions uh, from the team standpoint for the girls. So it was a it was a gr- another great year for wrestling. And and I know they're they're really looking forward uh, to next year already. They've they've been working and, and uh, you know getting the weight room, doing some things to uh, to see some growth for next year. I know they're they're excited about their future. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Lady Cubs, of uh, transition to ladies basketball. Actually, I know they had a good season this year. Uh, made all the way um, regionals. Uh, fell short to CG our rivals, Gosh, but yeah. a great year nonetheless. Yeah, you know, third straight sectional title. Um, and the sectional changed a little bit. Uh, we're no longer in the same sectional with with Center Grove and and Greenwood and 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 those Martinsville and those those teams. And so it it was a different viewpoint for for us. You know, having Columbus. East East and East Central, two very good teams in our sectional. Columbus North, another quality team. Shelbyville, Whiteland. I think everybody in our girls sectional had a winning record. Um, there's not too many sectionals around the state that can say that. And uh, for us to come out on top was 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 great. I think their season was 18 and six overall. Finished runner up in the conference sectional title. And yeah, like you said, just came up a little bit short in the regional. Um, had the lead with about a minute and a half to go, and I thought things were swinging our way, but um, you know that, that's 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 basketball, that's that's sports. You know, momentum a, is a real thing, and Center Grove got the momentum at the end of the game and capitalized. So. Yeah, um, you know, Kendall Yoakum was invited to the top 60 workout 
for the all-star team. Uh, so, you know, she had a great year. We had some other individuals, Lauren Clem, Kendall Yoakum, and uh, Brooklyn York were all conference. Lauren Clem was all county. So we, we girls had a, had a great year. I know when you, for looking back on the last two or three seasons you've had, you've made semi-state, you've made the state finals. A lot of, a lot of people think, gosh, it was maybe a down year, but when you look at 18 and six sectional championship, uh, and, and next year we've got everybody back, but one, uh, I think we're, we're poised to be uh, one of the top teams in the state again next year. Uh, speaking of uh, basketball and kind of some young teams like the Lady Cubs have, the boys basketball team has a very young team. They're only going to graduate. Uh, I think Dylan. Dylan was the only senior yep. this year, yep. and uh, you know you got Micah and a great junior class, Grant mm -hmm. Hunter, Wyatt Nicholson, all those all those guys. Coach Adrian Moss in his second year. Uh, congrats to him. They 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 did a great job this year. You know, give me a little rundown of how their season went. Yeah, you know they they play a tough schedule, uh, and the girls team did as well. I think both of them their schedules were ranked in Sagarin ratings in the top twenty five across the state. Tough schedule. It gets, I think Coach Moss likes that. He, he wants to be prepared for sectional time. Tough draw in the sectional. We had Columbus North, who that was the eventual sectional champion. Uh, we fell to them in a tough game, two point loss. We had just played them a week prior to a double overtime game. So we knew it was going to probably be whoever won our game in the sectional probably was the favorite to win that. Um, and they, they came up a little bit short. Um, I think. Looking at the, the total, the, the going back to the season for the boys, it was just it never felt like they had everybody clicking at the same time due to injuries, sickness, some illnesses there. Um, it was just kind of a weird year where you never, I don't, I don't think anybody felt comfortable in, in some roles and, and um, you know, had, had some bright spots for sure throughout the season. Uh, Micah Davis named all conference. Um, still yet to see some of the state accolades and awards come out. I would I have to think that Mike is probably on that list uh, of, of potential junior all stars. So um, yeah, and they're young. They're, you know, we're we're losing Dylan uh, from the boys team. He's going to go to Franklin College. I think he's committed there and, and going to play. So we wish him the best of luck. But that's that that's their lone senior. So all the parts and pieces are coming back. Maybe some new faces from you know coming in from the freshman team. I really think they're they're again they're going to be one of the top teams uh, in this area uh, again next year so, so looking forward to it so wrapping up uh winter obviously very successful winter sports for yep. us so we're going to start looking forward onto the spring we don't need to go too in depth but i know the boys have a volleyball yeah. game tonight so time flies when you're having fun right <laughs> exactly yeah, gosh it's i do this every year and i think gosh i can't believe where the the fall and the winter seasons have gone already and and we we are officially in the sport, spring sports season as you said boys volleyball has matched tonight home opener with new pal uh lacrosse girls lacrosse actually played last night against center grove um our track and field team has they've already competed in three indoor meets uh they they've actually had some some really good times uh from from the uh, girls and boys track team i've seen a lot of new prs a lot of good finishes in those indoor meets so there's some we're gonna i think we're gonna see some some track and field um at the conference county and, and state level this year uh really competing at a high level uh, boys golf girls tennis unified track those are all in and practicing uh, but they won't have any matches or meets until we come back from spring break um, baseball and softball will have scrimmages next week uh, at home and uh, so yeah it's it, we're rolling and everything's it, the weather may not be the most condu conducive to spring sports but uh, that's what we battle every year and the kids got to be tough uh, you know and get out there and, and get after it so so kind of to wrap things up for today uh, all, Franklin is in the Mid-State Conference, and the Mid-State Conference is an extremely tough conference, whether it be a fall sport, a winter sport, or a spring sport. Uh, you know, what kind of advantages is it for not only Franklin, but every team in the Mid-State to play such a tough conference, and when you win it, 
you know it's a big deal yeah yeah definitely when you when you look at our conference we we typically have some teams competing at the state level uh in every sport you know uh and whether it's mooresville or plainfield us uh whiteland obviously i mean you know there's martinsville has a lot of good teams decatur central they their boys basketball team was phenomenal this year their girls team was great their football we know they're always at the top of the conference in football yeah it, it's tough um, and what that does for for everybody the, you know you know the the cream does rise to the top and when you play a tough schedule every year uh, night in night out um, across the conference those you're going to see that growth and you're going to see improvement across the board and and Decatur Central and Wyland have been the top in football but it's raising everybody else's game as well and you see that in every sport so it's uh it's a tough conference and uh we're, we're happy to be a part of it so yeah so Mr. Doty first off I want to say congratulations to all of our fall athletes on great seasons and a uh gr great job of hard work and dedication to your team uh we're kind of optimistic about all of our spring sports as they they go into battle and best luck to all of them mr doty thank you so much for coming on and taking time out of your day to join us we yeah. know uh it's a very busy day getting refs doing doing it all well, so thank you very much i appreciate you having me on and and like i said highlighting our our student athletes it's always a great thing to do so yep Zach, great to have you back man we're we're always glad to have you on here can't wait till next time yep and that was another episode of hubler automotive group coaches corner Hubler is proud to be the official sponsor of Franklin Athletics. Score massive savings on all your favorite brands. Plus get our 10-year, 200,000-mile warranty included. For all auto needs, just click drivehubler.com. Let's go Grizzly Cubs!